Now when the Yahudim heard that Yosef had begged the body of Yahushua, they sought for Yosef, and for the twelve men which said that Yahushua was not born of fornication, and for Nicodemus and many others which had come before Pilate and declared his good works. But all they hid themselves, and Nicodemus only was seen of them, for Nicodemus was a ruler of the Yahudim. And Nicodemus said to them, How came you into the assembly? The Yahudim said to Nicodemus, How did as you come into the assembly? For you are confederate with Yahushua, and his portion shall be with you in the life to come. Nicodemus saith, Amen, Amen. Likewise, Yosef came forth and said to the Yahudim, Why is it that you are vexed against me, for that I beg the body of Yahushua? Behold, I have laid it in my new tomb, having wrapped it in clean linen, and I rolled a stone over the door of the cave, and you have not dwelt well with the just one, for you repented not when you had crucified Yahushua, but you also pierced him with a spear. But the Yahudim took hold of Yosef and commanded him to be put in safeguard until the first day of the week. And they said to him, Know you that the time allow us not to do anything against you, because the Shabbat dawneth. But knew that you shall not obtain burial, but we will give your flesh to the fowls of heaven. Yosef said to them, the Yahudim, This is the word of Goliath that boasteth with reproach the living Elohim, and the holy Dawid. For Elohim said by the prophet, Vengeance is mine, and I will recompense, saith Yahweh. And now, look, one that was uncircumcised, but circumcised in heart, took water and washed his hands before the sun, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person, see you to it. And you answered Pilate and said, His blood be on us and on our children. And now I fear lest the wrath of Yahweh come on you and on your children, as you have said. But when the Yahudim heard these words, they waxed bitter in soul and caught hold of Yosef and took him and shut him up in a house wherein was no window. And guards were set at the door and they sealed the door of the place where Yosef was shut up. And on Shabbat day, the rulers of the assembly and the priest and the Levuin made an ordinance that all men should appear in the assembly on the first day of the week. And all the multitude rose up early and took counsel in the assembly by what death they should kill Yosef. And when the council was set, they commanded him, Yosef, to be brought with great dishonor. And when they had opened the door, they found him not. And all the people were besides themselves and amazed because they found the seals closed and Kaphia had the key. And they durst not any more lay hands on them that had spoken in the behalf of Yahushua before Pilate. And while they, and the they being the Yahudim, and while they sat in the assembly and marveled because Yosef, there came certain of the guard, which the Yahudim had asked of Pilate to keep the sepulcher of Yahushua, lest preadventure his disciples should come and steal Yahushua away. And they spake and declared to the rulers of the assembly and the priest and the Levuin that which had come to pass, how that there was a great earthquake, and we saw an angel descend from heaven. And the angel rolled away the stone from the mouth of the cave and sat on it. And he did shine like the snow and like lightning. And we were so afraid and lay as dead men. And we heard the voice of the angel speaking with the woman which waited at the sepulcher, saying, Fear you not, for I know that you seek Yahshua, which was crucified. He is not here. Yahshua is risen. And he said, or the angel said, Come, see the place where Adonai lay, and go quickly and say to his disciples that Yahshua is risen from the dead and is in Galilee. The Yahudim say, With what woman spake he? They of the guard say, we know not who they were. The Yahudim say, at what hour was it? They of the guard say, at midnight. The Yahudim say, and wherefore did you not take the woman? They of the guard say, we were become as dead through fear, and we looked not to see the light of the day. How then could we take them? The Yahudim say, 
as Yahweh liveth, we believe you not. They of the guards say to the Yahudim, so many signs you in that man, and you believe not. How then should you believe us? Verily, you swore rightly, as Yahweh liveth, for he liveth indeed. Again, they of the guards say, we have heard that you shut up Yosef that begged the body of Yahushua, and that you scaled the door. And when you had opened it, you found him not. Give you therefore Yosef, and we will give you Yahushua. The Yahudim say, Yosef is departed to his own city. They of the guard say to the Yahudim, Yahushua also is risen, and we have heard of the angel, and he is in Galilee. And when the Yahudim heard these words, they were so afraid, saying, Take heed, lest this report be heard, and all men inclined to Yahushua. And the Yahudim took counsel, and laid down much money, and gave it to the soldiers, saying, Say you, while we slept, his disciples came by night, and stole Yahshua away. And if this come to the governor's hearing, we will persuade him and secure you. And they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this, their saying, was published abroad among all men. Now a certain priest named Penhos, and Ados, and a teacher named Agius, a Levine, came down from Galilee to Jerusalem and told the rulers of the assembly and the priest and the Levi'im, saying, We saw Yahashua and his disciples sitting on a mountain, which is called Olives. And he said to his disciples, Go into all the world and preach to every creature, the whole creation. He that believeth and is immersed shall be saved, but he that disbelieveth shall be condemned. And these signs shall follow on them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. And while Yahushua yet spake to his disciples, we saw Yahshua taken up into heaven. The elders and the priests and the Levuin say, Give glory to Elohim of Israel, and make confession to him. Did you indeed? or that you did hear and see those things which you have told us. They that told them say, As Yahweh Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lived, we did hear these things, and we saw Yahshua taken up into heaven. The elders and the priests and the Levuin say to them, Came you for this end, that you may tell us, or came you to pay your vows to Elohim? And they say, to pay our vows to Elohim. The elders and the chief priests and the Levuin say to them, If you came to pay your vows to Elohim, to what purpose is this idle tale which you have babbled before all the people? Penhas, the priest, and Ados, the teacher, and Agius, the Levuin, say to the rulers of the assembly, and the priest, and the Levuin, If these words which you have spoken and seen be sin, look, we are before you. Do to us as seemeth good in your eyes. And they took the book of the Torah and adjured them that they should no more tell any man these words. And they gave them to eat and to drink and put them out of the city. Moreover, they gave them money and three men to go with them. And they set them on their way as far as Galilee. And they departed in Shalom. Now, when these men were departed into Galilee, the chief priests and the rulers of the assembly and the elders gathered together in the assembly and shut the gate and lamented with a great lamentation, saying, What is this sign which has come to pass in Israel? But Amlus and Kephiah said, Wherefore are you troubled? Why weep you? Know you not that his disciples gave much gold to them that keep the sepulcher? and taught them to say an angel came down and rolled away the stone from the door of the sepulcher. But the priests and the elders said, Be it so, that his disciples did steal away his body, but how is his soul entered into his body, and how abideth he in Galilee? But they could not answer these things, and hardly in the end said, Is it lawful for us to believe the uncircumcised? 
Ought we to believe the soldiers that an angel came down from heaven and rolled away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? Know you not that it is not lawful for Yahudim to believe any word of the uncircumcised, knowing that they who receive much good from us have spoken according as we taught them? And what they're saying in that passage or in that short verse right there is that they would lose all credibility if this story got out. 